Hello. Welcome to the Watchtower. I know it's been a little bit of time since you've seen us here in the, the Watchtower. Watchtower. I was away doing some stuff with some great, uh, some great influencers and players. So now we are back to talk more about Injustice. We are getting ever so close to the game, right? It's like 10 so, days and so. some hours. So we're very excited. I mean, there's some, been some excitement this morning, too, which we'll probably talk about later. A uh, couple things. We got people here to introduce. First, over here. Derek Kurtzik, designer here at NetherRealm Studios. Always on my side. We have a special friend today. Can you introduce I'm yourself? Oh, Your yes, friend. I'm, uh, I'm Shervin Hossein. I'm a gameplay programmer here at NetherRealm Studios. I'm really glad that you were surprised that I, was, I called you a friend. Yes, I think, you know. So we call, we call him Chevy, as yes. you can yeah. see on his Twitter, which you, you say you rarely use. Uh, rarely, you never. <laughs> okay, never just to talk about anime, I'm guessing? Uh, sometimes, yeah. Okay, good to, good to hear, good to hear. So Chevy's here to talk some stuff about uh, some, some gameplay stuff, yeah. along with Derek. A couple of, so here's the deal. Let me explain something real quick at the top of the show. Um, there's no questions answered today. We have a very, very full stream. We have Chevy coming in, Paulo Garcia coming in, the Lord Steve Brownback coming in. We have a ton of stuff to cover. We'll get back to questions next week. And truthfully, we're getting so close to this game that like questions they should be almost answered. They're going to be answered very soon anyway. Uh, so very excited about that. Let me tell you about our schedule. Now this, please, this is to be. I mean, we'll see if it happens. If things yeah. change, it is things change around here. We, I might have to go. Out of town. I like, have to go out of town. I know. Derek, I, so here's the deal. Derek will be out of here. town next week. Chevy will be here. Uh, so we're going to have a stream. It's looking like on Wednesday. Okay. Uh, next watch, Wednesday. Watch, watch Tower Wednesday is back with uh, a guest, Ray McCaffrey, from the mobile team. Ooh, the Denim Warrior. The Denim Warrior. We're going to be fun. talking about the awesome new uh, Injustice 2 mobile game. It is a lot of fun. I love which it. Is exciting. We got, and we'll have some maybe some special treats you might not know about treats. the game. And some stuff that we want to kind of talk about that. Hmm. We'll also show some, some characters we haven't shown yet. Absolutely. Right? Mm -hmm. Then here's the other deal. Oh, tell me more. Then on Friday, we'll be back for another stream. Two what? streams back. What? Again, as I've said, this could all change. I hope it does not. Next Friday, Mr. John Edwards will be here. I've heard of him, good guy. Remember about two months ago, mm -hmm. maybe more, when I said, hey, let's do a gear, gear stream. stream. Yeah. It's next Friday. It took a lot of preparation. A lot of prep, but we have some awesome things to show. I got an email today from John about some really cool set, some set, set pieces, set bonus stuff. Hey, we can say that. We, yeah. We're okay to say that. Okay. We got some really cool stuff that you've never seen yet. That we're excited to show you. Yes. Uh, what else? There's a couple more things. Oh, then the next week we launch. Yeah. Right. Yep. Yeah. So wait, we'll have. Wait. Yeah. Oh, right. We should Ten days. get moving. Uh, so then Monday, mm -hmm. I'm looking like there'll be a stream on that Monday too. Oh, that sounds fun. Or maybe if there's interest, two streams on that Monday. Two streams on a Monday. Maybe one during the day. Maybe one. At nighttime, the PM Ooh. playing online at midnight with everybody. There's, yes, it could be happen. So much fun. You might get to see Matt Burke, who's right over here behind the computer. Say hello, Matt. Hey, everybody. And Hi, Matt, Matt might come in and play some games, although he needs a tad bit of the practice. Yes. He does. So, he does. So that's the plan right now. Of course, as I said, things could change. We'll let you know if they do. Uh, here's a couple things. Late on me. Mm -hmm. Right here. Ultimate Edition, right? Show it to us. If you get the physical copy, I have procured. That's a hold it up. Sir. Hold it up. I yeah. have. That's right. a steel book right there. That is. That is the steel book. We got Batman. Oh, we got Superman. Open and it. Inside. Bam. Oh. Part of the sweet mural that you guys have been following since we started. It is so, a pretty awesome mural. I love it. So I got. I was able. To, I'm happy I was able to show you guys this. Um, a couple, another thing. We got a giveaway. If you go, and I don't know, it might not be posted yet, keep following our Twitter, and the rules will be on our forums. Mm -hmm. If you will retweet a tweet that you will see, it is five, we have five t-shirts to give away, Injustice 2 t-shirts. Nice. There's good news and bad news. Okay. There's five t-shirts to give away. Is that the bad news? No, that's the good news. Oh. Right? What's going to be the bad news then? The bad news is they're all extra large. Oh, okay. Oh. That's so nice. if you're smaller than that, they're good shirts to go to bed in, I oh, guess. Oh, yeah, yeah, so, yeah. 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 And Trumpy they shirts. may, like this one, for instance, does glow in the dark, which surprised me the first time I put it was it pretty, on. It's pretty so, awesome. Yes. Everyone tells me, they're like, you knew that shirt was glow in the dark? Just you found know. out last night. Yep. So uh, we have those, so follow our Twitter. It should be posted soon. Retweet that for a chance to win. Mm -hmm. One of five, five t-shirts. If five. I retweet it, can I win? No. I you, you have an Injustice t-shirt. Not what, one. What if I retweet it with the Twitter I never use? Well, people know now. Oh. Ah. The so here's the deal. A couple, just a few more things, and then we're going to get rolling on this. Uh, Ed Boone just tweeted out, we saw today Sub-Zero. Wait, we saw what? Sub-Zero DLC, right? Yes. So we saw that. 
Here's some other news that Ed tweeted out. That was designed by Jim Lee, Ooh. who also did Scorpion for Scorpion Injustice the One. Last one yes. That's a little piece of information kind of shows you the, the really cool tie-in with DC into what we're doing with our DLC. DC is phenomenal to work with. Absolutely. And this has been nothing but a blessing. And I was able to be, do that stream with Jim, uh, Jim Lee last week. Mm -hmm. Super nice guy. Um, it was really, a lot of fun to watch, too, by the way. Yeah, I, 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 I had a great time with that. I hope you guys enjoyed it. But let's get moving, right? All right. So today, I got Derek here. I got Chevy here, because we're going to talk about... Now, last week, I talked a little bit about the multiverse. Yes. Right? But I only talked... You gave a glimpse of what it so actually small. is. I had very little time, and I gave as much as I could. Today, we're going to dive in a little deeper. Yep. And you guys are going to see some stuff that you might not know about it. Right. So I will help facilitate the conversation. Sure. We'll let Derek and uh, Chevy go at it. All right, so the number one thing we really care about here at NetherRealm Studios is single player content. Mm -hmm. Not everybody wants to go online and get their butts kicked. So we really, really, really want to make as much single player content as possible. And we always try that, right? We always right. try that. And it always works. We, got, we, we had the, the story that's going to be super long and engaging, but yep. after that... After that, we have what's called the multiverse, mm -hmm. all right? So let's go ahead and just dive on in into the multiverse. Before we hop in there real quick, oh, I, wanna, I forgot to ask you, Chevy. Yes. So you say gameplay, right? Uh, yeah, yeah. That could be confusing to like, you know, there's designers who create the, the move sets of the right, characters. Right. There's effects. What exactly is a gameplay programmer? So a gameplay programmer essentially helps design by creating interfaces and tools for them to create all the content in the game. So for example, for a character, we give them the tools to play an animation and be able to time the hitboxes and everything so that the characters will punch and kick when they ask them to. So it's fair to say that you have a big team of, of gameplay programmers. Yeah, yeah. Shout out. Shout, Shout out to the gameplay yes. guys. They're, they're smart guys who do some crazy stuff more so than I do at times. <laughs> <laughs> so the great thing is with gameplay, as a, a person who works here, you get to touch a lot of different things mm -hmm. in the game. I have access. I basically see the back end of what everything. every time uh, design calls a function, I'm the uh, our team is the one that handles the data and makes sure it doesn't crash and then Call it, make sure the game runs. <laughs> so, that said, you got to work a lot on the multiverse. Yes, multiverse was uh, one of the big things I was part of. Awesome. So let's talk about it, Derek. Okay, so let's go ahead and go into the multiverse. So, every day that you log on to mm -hmm. Injustice, you're going to have a series of Earths. Each one of these Earths is themed. So, and within them, have a series of objectives and events. So, for an example, Let's say that you are a uh, Supergirl player, right? right? You really love Supergirl. Well, we have an event, or an Earth, mm -hmm. just for Supergirl players, so they can get Supergirl gear. Now, you'll notice there's completion rewards. Chevy, you want to kind of explain what the completion yeah. rewards so do? so completion rewards, basically, as it sounds, when you complete the event, in this case, this one called First Flight, you'll get the completion reward of a random rare Supergirl arm piece, arm right. gear. But then, if you were to complete the same event again, right a different completion reward would appear. Yeah. So you can continuously get additional gear, and the completion reward will always change after each turn. Now here's mm -hmm. a question, because some people have tweeted me this question. Let's mm -hmm. say I'm a huge Scarecrow fan. Sure. Right? And I am on vacation during Scarecrow's, uh, you know, what do they call it? His Earth is his available. His Earth is available, right? Yes. Earth, his multiverse Earth is available. Mm -hmm. I'm on vacation. Right. Well, I can't get my, super, my, my Scarecrow stuff. Incorrect. They're going to be on a schedule. Um, gameplay has created an amazing calendar that mm -hmm. I think Chevy probably can explain more about. Well, yeah, without getting into the technical details, design has the ability to easily tweak when an, uh, a multiverse will appear and for how long. And I believe uh, they've decided that uh, these character Earths will show up more often in a quick rotation. They'll, right. Yeah, they'll rotate faster. And now you'll also see that if I press triangle here, it's going to give me the objectives of this Earth. So as you see, you're going to get rewards for completing events, but completing, say, this entire multiverse will give you these additional rewards. And check out this, too. This is like, this is no slouch stuff here. A level 20 Epic Supergirl head you can get down there. Yep. Epic Supergirl emblem. Like, there's, like, yeah, really good stuff here. Absolutely. And platinum boxes. I those oh, are yeah, huge. Absolutely. There's right. two of them. Two right. platinum boxes. You get two for just completing the multiverse along with the epic Supergirl emblem, which is a great gear piece. So if you're like, man, I really want that Supergirl gear, where can I get it? The answer is the multiverse. Mm -hmm. Okay? And then we have different um, gates to get into specific events. So this one, for an example, you have to complete these four events and have a level 15 Supergirl. Right. So you may go into this earth and be like, oh, I want this gear. 
but I'm not that level yet. So not you're going to have to go and level up that character mm -hmm. just to get into this event to and, get this great stuff. And like we've talked about, that said, like let's say you are in town. You're not on vacation for Scarecrow. Mm -hmm. Maybe you can't do it that time, but it'll come back soon and you can do it again. Absolutely. Yep. Um, so, and each one of these character-based uh, multiverse also have a great boss fight. Hence you seeing these amazing rewards. Right. And there's leaderboards attached to them so you can see how you stand against the rest of the world. I'm, I'm super excited about this just because, like we've talked about, the people who like to play single player, mm -hmm. who don't want to play online, mm -hmm. this gives you countless, endless hours. And as many as we make. Right, yes. exactly. Yes, which is how, uh, how many? Uh, so many you broke the script compiler once. Yes, yes, <laughs> absolutely. So well over a, couple, a thousand or so. Yeah, yes. there's a lot of stuff to do. Um, and also, we had great writers working with us too, mm -hmm. Kittleson and Dominic, to come up with some really good DC lore for each of these uh, multiverse events. I, I love it because it doesn't feel out of the world of the game. Right. It feels like there's there's contextual elements in everything to kind of show you why you're doing what you're doing. Right. And like I had stated before, every day that you come on is new content. Every few hours, there's new content. So if you get in and you're like, oh man, I've got two hours to finish this. You go in there, you polish it up in two hours, you come back and there's a brand new one. Right. right? Mm -hmm. um, and so then there's also some events that will appear randomly for just about three hours, okay? Special ones. Special ones, where we've got really good rewards in there, and people, you know, like you guys, the marketing team, will be like, hey, blast it out, this event's happening right. for three hours, you're gonna get a lot of really good gear. And let me add like on to that. that, too. Like we talked about, since we do have the ability to kind of throw in whatever we think's popular or what people want at the time, mm -hmm. like maybe we'll have votes for that, maybe things right. will happen like that, where like, Wow, we really want Catwoman tomorrow, like in a couple days. Well, here's going to be on Friday. You right. Know I mean, we, we'll be able to have that happen. Absolutely. And you'll notice there's multiple things that are level based. Uh, when you see level 1 to 20, that means it's relative. Right. So you can go into this event with any level character and play through it. There's always going to be content no matter what level your characters are. Now, there's some that say level 10. Mm -hmm. You could try that, right? Absolutely. Oh, yeah. Like, if uh, I'm really good with Cheetah, right? Uh, if I, mean, got I mean, I, uh, I mean. <laughs> Okay, Not when you play my I'm all right fate. with Cheetah, um, but if I took my level 3 Cheetah into a level 10 event, it would be more difficult, but I could still possibly beat it. Oh yeah, nothing's stopping you from beating a hard uh, event. Real quick, you see a completion reward down there that says 3 regen tokens, right? Yes. Ooh. People are asking what that is. Ooh. Tune in next Friday for the gear oh. stream to find that out, so cool. Yes, uh, what we can say is that's a really good reward. Yes, yeah, cool. Oh, yeah. And some really of the cool. completion rewards will draw you to these events, because you'll be like, man, I want that. Right. Right? It, the, to me, there's always a cycle. There's always mm -hmm. things you can be doing. It's like, like look here, you got Nightmare. Like maybe there's something there in Nightmare I can use to get better to go play this other one Absolutely. and keep, keep jumping around. You know right. what I mean? It's got that RPG element to it. Yep. And then we always have the Battle Simulator, which is a uh, multiverse that's always around. And this is where you would find basically like your ladder endings or event endings that you have been very familiar with other nether realms so yeah these are the, mm -hmm. the, the the kind of the towers we've used before this is they're in the little battle simulator down there yep so right. if you want to see like you know the ending for your character that's where you go absolutely Derek, can you go back for a second i might have seen something that might what is uh can you go to the left oh to the left yes what, what is that why, why is there five there oh well actually why don't you go ahead and tell them all right so this endless uh, good, tower. By the way, good setup, guys. Yeah, that <laughs> was nailed really it. good. Nailed it. Yeah. I try. Uh, so this is an endless <laughs> tower, right? And uh, most of the time, there's performance rewards that are uh, tied to points. However, this one is tied to how many fights you get. So if you were to complete 100 fights, you would get a diamond mother box. Which, which is, is another tier of mother boxes, which right. is even better than platinum. Right. There's, oh, but mother boxes, I'm sure you guys will talk about that later. For next Friday, right? Okay, next yeah. Friday, sure. Um, and so we've got the special multiverse. Okay, so this is, I'm really, I want to hop in real quick. Uh, this is, I'm really happy that this happened, right? So we were able, these guys, not me, I'm sorry, were able to create a Watchtower event today. Correct. An Earth, on Watchtower Earth, written by... Sean Kittleson. Who decided to uh, talk a little crap <laughs> yeah. during it. So this is actually called the Watchtower. We've set up a couple different events mm -hmm. to show some of the things that can happen. Absolutely. So, would you like to read that, Derek? Um, uh, I think you should. Okay. This is called the Watchtower. Blue Beetle of Earth 1337, 1337, mm -hmm. Leet, and his friends are trolling this stream. Derek and Tyler must beat them without dropping combos. 
or they will be mocked mercilessly. And of course, the event is called Dropping Combos. Derek and Tyler must save the world from some super bad dude, bad guys. They are real bad dudes. They sure are. Okay, there is so, not a good one in here. So nope. that is the story of this one, right? right? Now, um, because this is the Watchtower event that we customly create, custom created for yep. this, um, a lot of the opponents are going to have low health because we just kind of want to show off modifiers that yep. are in this. Mm -hmm. um, so this is, as we say, this isn't actually what you're going to play no. completely. But what this does show is that like it's very it's very fun to be able to create mm -hmm. a bunch of different. Yeah. Worlds. Right, and we have a bunch of them. So I'm going to hand the controller to Chevy. Oh, Chevy's going to go. Oh, yeah. yeah, and he's going to go ahead and play some of these while we talk about some of the you know new stuff that yeah. you might see in but the modifiers. Before I go in, you want the, uh, you want this to be quick, yet you put the AI difficulty at 4 out of 5. Oh, yeah. That's a, Why would you do that? Why don't you go that? ahead and go back just for one second? And as you'll notice, each, point. each one of the events has an AI difficulty. So you mm -hmm. have an idea of how difficult the opponents are going to be when going in. And if you back out one more stage... You'll see what each one of them also has a difficulty meter outside of the portal. That's kind of like the overall difficulty of this portal. It seems to go left to right harder. Yeah. Yes. Harder to use. And it's also based on the gates to get into these events. Right. So that, that difficulty is an overall thing. Who are you going to play? Uh, I think I'm going to go with Batman. Yeah, that's uh, good. Now, here's something that's also cool we haven't really talked about, which we'll probably talk about more next week in gear. Uh, okay, first of all, let's talk about modifiers. Modifiers. So, uh, we've always had modifiers in the game. Injustice 1, MKX, mm. and of course with Injustice 2. Um, so there's some returning ones, some of favorites, but then a bunch of new there's things. There's some really cool new stuff that you have not seen yet that I'm excited to show. Correct. Oh, intro. Should we talk during them? I'll let it go. Everyone has a weakness. Do not underestimate me. Like hell I will. Begin. So here, we have Joker Bombs going to be dropping. There's one on the floor there. Right. And the Joker Bombs, there's three different types of bombs. One that's a gas, one that's an explosion, and one that's kind of just a funny dud, right? Um, and majority of the modifiers, also, we have the great, talented uh, Dominic and Kittleson write up lore. So I think there's Joker gang is hanging outside of something, right, right, throwing right. bombs, right? So we talk about something I was going to mention. Uh, so in gear, you know, we have all these loadouts. Mm -hmm. There are certain types of gear that might help you do better in the multiverse. I don't think it's even a might. I think there is. Sometimes I get worried about saying definites in these streams, oh, okay. as you've okay. noticed. Yeah. Uh, but Go yeah, that's actually true. Yes, yeah. there is gear that says, will help in the multiverse, for right. sure. So you can have your, your verses, Yep. gear, you can have a multiverse set of gear, and you can be leveling those up and making those better as you go. Absolutely. Now, if there was like a boss that, say, was a Kryptonian, right. you could put on anti-Kryptonian gear to help you get through this challenge. What are you talking about, boss? What? Whoa! Whoa. Yeah, right, right, right. Uh, so, <laughs> Another <laughs> fine setup by me. Oh, yes. Yeah, good. So there's tons of boss battles. Oh. I'm sorry, Dinah, you're not ready. I sure as hell am ready. I'll be the judge of that. Begin. So there's tons of boss battles, um, and there's some things that we'll, we have that we're going to show that will help you with these boss battles. Now, these are the ground spikes. Oh, what they do yeah. is they travel from one side of the screen to what? the other. If you get caught in it, it's going to actually carry you to the other side of the screen. Right. This is one of our newer modifiers, which I absolutely love. Yep. What's wild, so but as you play, you're going to keep getting more and more stuff. Yes. That happens to you, that happens to the other, to the opponent. Maybe things that can help you against the opponent, things like that. Right, absolutely. Some things maybe that you actually trigger yourself um, versus things being just random. Right. Good, good clash. That wasn't me. Uh, yeah, I was talking to the AI. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> right. Derek likes to talk to the AI. Well, you know, sometimes it's better than this. Right. Absolutely. It absolutely is true. Absolutely true. Um, and then we'll also... Like I said, we'll have some good returning modifiers, mm -hmm. um, so things like Gift of Health, stuff like that, but right. more themed towards the DC world. And you'll see down at the bottom, don't perform an uppercut during the match. Oh, Absolutely. Well, that's Chevy's go-to right, right there. Chevy's a big uppercut guy. Right. And so uh, there are match challenges as well. Each uh, event has X amount of match challenges. Completing these events will boost your score at the end. And your, uh, the rewards that you get for completing, uh, their performance rewards, are based on your score. Yeah, I talked through that whole you, thing. You did, it's fine. The, the thing People should I, be used to that by now. Yeah. <laughs> the thing that I really like, and, and I mean, we're harping on it because it's true, 
there are so many things that you can continue to get in this mode. Yes. Like, it kind of doesn't stop. No. Like, no. you do this, you, do, you don't uppercut, you get special stuff. Right. Like, like, everything is patterned so we can give you gear and give you the coolest stuff that you can play with. And then there's uh, the objectives, right? So there could be an objective that is do 10 super moves in this event. But that event is only three fights. So you actually have to play that event a few times right. to complete the objective. Oh, got a trophy. Nice. Congratulations, first name, last name. <laughs> <laughs> That's what they call me. Yeah. They've always called hey, I did good it. old first name, last name. And you got the uh, challenge. Great job, Chevy. And you can see you're still earning credits, so maybe those credits can be pushed towards another event, which you can unlock with those. Ooh, right. Gravity. Oh, this um, is... Oh, give it, oh, yeah. Oh, here you go. Sorry. This is one of Tyler's I don't favorites. think you can drop a combo in this one. <laughs> well, I'll find a way. <laughs> all right. Yeah, my favorite modifier of all time is anti-gravity. Or low gravity, pardon me. So I'm sorry I had to steal this one. I no know. worries. It's... Wait. I've had enough of the game, Selena. Aren't you the least bit curious? I can't afford to be curious. Be Did you hear the Burke sigh over there? Yeah. <laughs> like, that's like the new gen death eyes. Come oh, on, don't drop oh, it. There you go. There it is. You, you've oh. got quick uppercuts, too. Oh, so. Yeah, you can do like a bunch of those. Oh, oh, he drops it. You should have been able to kill her with just one combo. Oh, I, got, I got a bar here. Right, a bar. Go oh, she's going she, to clash so soon. Oh, well. Ah, there, there it is. <laughs> there it is. Wait. Don't be so sure. I'm going to let her win. Good. Yes, you should. Oh, tie. Never she mind. had no, well, she she had had no meter. meter. Oh, there you go. There you go. Yes. Yes. No! No! <laughs> Oh. oh, oh, there you go. Oh, you're getting it. Yeah! yeah. All right, perfect Those victory you bonus. You nailed you it. All right. How's your first time on stream, Chevy? Uh, it's going well, I think. Uh, you guys tell me. Uh, <laughs> you're doing great. You're doing great. Yay. You weren't nervous at all? No, not at all. Not even a little bit. Mm. Um, so this modifier is called the Orange Lantern, which is like Larflees is uh, gold. Okay. And what will happen is this is generally attached to its own entire Earth, which is a Ooh. bonus Earth, okay? And an orange lantern will appear. I'll be quiet for a couple seconds. Poison Ivy. Shouldn't you be at a fundraiser? Consider this community outreach. Begin. So an orange lantern will appear on the fight line, and it'll actually give you credits. So if you get this bonus while it's, while it's active, you can kind of sit within the lantern and just get money the whole time. Those are actual credits. That is actual credits. So that's why it's only around for a limited time and you kind of have to buy your way into it as well. Mm. So if you look to the left there, I am just getting money. Right. So I'm so just, you're just stacking that paper. Stacking yeah. those credits, right. right? So naturally, as soon as I'm done, I would want to go and buy some mother boxes. Right, of course. Because in-game credits give you mother boxes and you're getting them nonstop. That probably didn't count when you were in your win animation, though, did it? No, no, no. <laughs> Let's see if I can find it again. There, oh, it, there is. it is. Oh. oh, she does not want you to get money. No. Give me that money. <laughs> there does, we go. does the AI get money? No, 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 no. they have okay. no reason for it. So I just got 860 <laughs> credits. 860? 860. Just from, just from making it rain on top. That yep. was great. Absolutely. Awesome. And that, those are usually tied to the special events that only last for a short period of time. That was really That cool. only you know when they appear. Well, Tyler kind of probably just oh, tells yeah. me. Okay. Yes. What? <laughs> I get to do something? Yeah. <laughs> cool. You actually get to tell me something to do. Awesome. I can't wait for that. Uh, so Solaris, he's coming up. Solaris is like a planet-eating planet. Eating planet. Uh, planet and then, eating. Yeah. We both looked into the abyss, Barry. But unlike you, I blinked. It's where you go from here that matters. Begin. So usually Solaris is attached to like big boss fights. And he'll come down and he'll invade the fight. Uh, just only one time. And he'll I'll I'll let I'll let you see. Oh there it is. Oh. Oh wow. Oh god. What, what are you supposed oh, to do? Man. Oh look at that. And so what he'll do is he'll explode. And he usually does more damage during these boss fights. And if you don't have enough health or armor. He's gonna kill you. Okay. And so you Ooh. need to make sure that you have proper gear anytime you see an event that has Solaris. Or try to beat Flash as quickly as you as possibly quickly can. As quickly as possible, right. yes. So that's just one of the many fun things we have. Awesome, I see we do one more. Um, I would love to do one more. Okay. And then maybe we do that cat one? Yeah, that yeah. sounds good. That sounds good. Okay. Gear. Gear, equip. You can't, that yeah. was for Dark Side. Oh. <laughs> 
So, making making his debut today. Oh man! <laughs> so this is gonna be fun. So this, I, Burke. As much as I hate Burke, really came through on this one. <laughs> Only one way to stop me. There's always another way. Begin. Which is our buddy, Waddles J. Cobblepot. Oh, there, there he is. is! Look at him, he's so cute. He's a weaponized <laughs> penguin that waddles onto the fight line and shoots a rocket at the opponent. And then flies off. And then naturally he goes flying off. Absolutely. Pen penguins known for their known for their flight. Absolutely. They are known for their <laughs> flight. So let's get Waddles over here. There, there he is. Goes. There's a little guy. Oh, oh, he's there he goes. Bye! Oh. Oh. <laughs> So what he'll do is he'll help assist uh, one of the uh, one of the players or fighters, and he'll just waddle onto the fight line and and target the uh, target one of the players. Oh, there he is again! That is super cool. <laughs> Waddles, God bless you, Waddles. Oh, he's there. <laughs> oh, oh. Cheetah ruining the fun. I'm Batman. People uh, were getting uh, we're getting a lot of LOLs in the chat. Good. That that means they're laughing. People like to laugh, right? Lots of love. Lo oh, oh, lots of love. I'm just kidding. Guys. Oh, there goes Waddles. <laughs> At one time, just for fun, we scaled Waddles up to like 300 percent, and it may have been the most terrifying thing we've ever seen. <laughs> of course you did. Of but course. with a giant, ro uh, a tiny rocket, though, right? Yeah, very yeah. tiny yeah. rocket, just big penguin. We only scale the penguins around here. Uh, 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 do this one, and then we'll move do on. Do this one? Yeah, you you really wanted to show this one. Let's show I this one. I did. Real quick. I did. So, uh, in Mortal Kombat X, we had character assist, where it was like Cyrax assist or smoke assist, right. and it would just be a random uh, attack that would come from one side of the screen. So, for Injustice 2, we made a lot. Oh. I'm glad Kara proved incorruptible. She's a fool to deny her power. She's smart to know its limits. Begin. So for Injustice 2, we wanted to allow the player to control these assists now. So if you notice at the top of the screen, there's an icon with a little right stick under it. If I sit and I... Oh, I just Why, did a transition. Derek? Because I wanted to do a wall bounce into a thing, and now I'm just going to kill him. <laughs> <laughs> He'll still be alive. We'll be alive. Oh, nice so, job. I press the, the right stick, and bloop! You kill I can him. actually summon uh, one of Raven's demons. So we kind of say that basically there's other characters at Brother Eye in an alternate dimensional portal that right. you can call upon to assist you during the fight. So you can actually do combos and call out this assist. Right. It's my turn. Cool. Super cool. Super cool. And there's roughly like 30 of these things. Okay. okay. So different characters that aren't in the game or were in previous games, we kind of do a, a little throwback to. Right. So they're, they're, they're still there in spirit. Right. So Lobo, stuff like that. All right, again, let me tell you guys, this we have probably a, long, a longer stream today. We have a lot to show. Mm -hmm. So let's move on real quickly, do one of those, do uh, one of the boss battles. Yep. yep. And then let's uh, let's move on. Absolutely. Let me get out of this screen. Hey, why don't you uh, talk to him about pre-ordering Injustice 2? Yes, you can do that. Pre-order Injustice 2, which is going to be awesome, and you can then get Darkseid. Darkseid. Who we'll be showing here in a little bit. Who and is one of your favorites. Uh, he's... Uh, Okay, here's the deal. I've gotten a lot of trouble in the past for saying who my main is. Yeah. So, yeah, he's fine. <laughs> All right. He's fine. So, uh, this is an example He's of... my main right now. Okay, there he is. Okay, cool. So, this is an example of a boss battle, right? Um, the difficulty's higher. You're going to... Ooh, I'm going to go in with Cheetah. Here, Cheetah. That's fine. Um, the difficulty's higher. You're going to see... They're going to have armor on them. They have insane stats. They have insane stats. But... Luckily, we've given you a couple fun things to assist you during the right. fight. Mm. And here's the other deal. This is an ungeared cheetah. Yes, this is an ungeared cheetah uh, versus a character that has epic gear. Yeah, a lot of these battles you're going to want to build up. Mm-hmm. Mine a real Catwoman. We better be talking about claws. And they are spectacular. So, you'll notice Swamp Thing was just on screen there for a second, right? In addition to character assists, we also have a thing called sidekicks, where you can actually summon in another character. They'll do an attack, and they'll assist you during the fight. Each character in Injustice 2 has what we like to call a sidekick. Let's see how he just kind of comes in there and helps me out? And he has a couple moves you can use, right? Yep. That's what the direction's for? Yep, yep. so right. you, I can do a towards, and I can do an away sidekick. I see. Um, it, it was a lot of work to get these guys working, uh, and 
a lot of people helped out on getting the sidekicks yeah, working. The, they're super cool. Oh yeah, absolutely. And so now her armor's broken, so I can kind of get in there a little bit. Start making her react. Right. Yeah, the, the, the tag assist and the, the uh, character assist, that was actually like a full team effort. Yep. Yep. We had a lot of guys on the gameplay team help out with that. Yeah, so like everybody really wanted it. It was really cool that it was working out as well. Mm -hmm. Bellapani really kicked some butt with sidekicks. It was awesome. Nice. Guys. Let's see how long I can survive. So here. the whole thing here is like, if you get a better gear, you're probably doing a little more damage. Oh, uh, absolutely. <laughs> and probably not taking, taking three hits. So, much so yeah. when you go into boss battles, <coughs> you want to be up. geared up. Yes. Absolutely. And where do you get gear? Just uh, kidding. <laughs> Everywhere. <laughs> I wish there was some coins raining down on you right now. That'd be fun too. You right? know, I mean, <laughs> we could set that up. Anything yeah. is possible. Chevy did an amazing job of hooking us up Thank on you. the design side, so that we can do all these fun things. Anything is possible. Anything Eric says in the multiverse. Anything, anything is possible. Let me tell you something. When you're making Ooh. when you're making content for or you're making tools for design, honestly, you have to you have to plan for anything. Yep. We like doing new cool stuff. Yep. Yes, absolutely. So, then there's, um, every day there is a sidekick event, and those are always relative. So, no matter what level you are, the, the earth will match your level. It's kind of hard to play. <laughs> oh, <laughs> really? Yeah, yeah. It's a, yeah, Sis Portal will show up. Yeah. Funny, Derek, you say it's hard to play and talk at the same time. But yeah. I seem to be doing a great job. You stopped <laughs> talking for a while. Yeah, all right, go ahead, you take this one. I'm good. Come on, Swamp. Just, you just gotta beat him up, beat her up quickly. I'm doing great, by the way. Oh, oh there no, you're dead. See, as soon hurt. as I say that, that's gonna hurt. Oh, it's okay. Uh, which uh, which character assist is that? Uh, that is the Black Fire character assist. Ah, okay, okay. And like I said, there's a bunch of nods to characters that you know we have. In there. Really, like the one thing I'm really happy with is like just how deep with the lore everybody went. You Ooh. know, so you're able to use the character assist uh, even when you're being reacted. Yes, or the character assist they'll actually help you if you're being comboed or one thing or another to help get you out of it. Right, but the tag assist is only when you're free. Yes. Yeah, gotcha. I tried to push it a lot when I was getting hit, and I'm like, Derek, it's not working. Something so no, just doesn't gonna... want to help you. Yeah. I get... Hey, that's. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, there we go. Nice oh. try. Okay. Derek right. almost took him all the way out. Woo! That, ladies and gentlemen, I think is where we are going to start. Stop. Pardon Stop. me. Yep. Start. start. <laughs> that's just the beginning. No. That's where we're going to stop today <laughs> with multiverse. There's a lot of things that you can do in the multiverse. Very excited for that, guys. Chevy's first time on stream. Nice job. Thank Great you, job, guys. Chevy. It was, it was oh, good to be real here. Real proud of you, Chevy. Glad you're able to do this. Do you want to say hi to your mom or anything? Hi, mom and friends. Yeah. There you go. There like, you go. Like Tyler. I said it earlier. <laughs> I'm still on the fence now. Um, so now we're going to bring Paulo Garcia in a moment. But first, we're going to show you a trailer. Woo! We're back. Ladies and gentlemen, one of the lead designers on Injustice 2, Paulo Garcia. What's up? Say hello. How's it going? It's been a while since we've seen you on stream, Paulo. Been busy uh, getting characters ready for launch. Um, oh, for Injustice 2? Yeah. Gotcha. Your hair looks amazing today, Lord. I'm actually one of the silhouettes in the DLC trailer. Oh, are you? I knew you? that. Are I knew you? that, actually. Yeah. That's great. Confirmed. Okay. So today, we're going to talk about some stuff that you probably don't know anything about. Yep. Not you, them. Uh, yeah. You this know is, about this is probably my favorite surprise of this game. Really? Yes. Let's take a look. Um, so we've got this mode called the AI Battle Simulator. Um, 
Can I spend a little bit about it, Derek? <laughs> All right, so AI Battle Simulator. What you do is you create teams. Um, so when you first go into AI Battle Simulator, you're going to create a defender team uh, where you select three characters. Mm -hmm. And you can gear those characters up with any of the gear that you collect throughout playing the game. Yeah, so um, we'll go in here and uh, customize some characters. So we'll, we'll pick a team. Who do you want to use for your team? Ooh, uh, I want you, Cheetah. Okay, Cash let's go with good. Cheetah first. So you go in here and... Um, uh, outside of your regular save loadouts, you've got these AI, AI loadouts. Where here you're you're gonna put on gear um, for your actual AI character that he's gonna use to fight with. So we'll we'll pick out some gear here for Cheetah. It looks. Ooh, I like. Ooh, no, I like the. Yeah, yeah. No back. Wow. Oh, why would you? You always pick this. I'm gonna go with what you don't want. Okay. Ooh, I don't like that. Come on, man. You're really good at this. Uh, that's mm, pretty much uh, just let him do it. Right. Right. You're kind of stuck. Yeah, I'm sort of just picking them at random. Yeah, yeah. I know. Um, and so what you're going to do is you're going to gear up your characters, right? And you'll want to base the gear you're using here might be different than the gear you're going to use by yourself online. Because depending on how you're going to set up your um, AI controlled character to play, you might want stuff with more defense or more stuff with more ability power based on a gameplay style that you might not actually be using yourself. Right. So, um, oh. Going to give her some, uh, give her the savage slam. Did he take it away? No, he didn't. He actually listened to me. Oh, That's him. great. Oh, the spotted torpedo's good. No, he's staying away from it because that's what I want to. Uh, let's grab one and we'll we'll uh, get her. Yeah. So after up. you've equipped gear in your character, you can actually go in and then adjust attributes for your character. So you've got you've got six different um, types of adjustments you can make to the character's personality. So you can, uh, there's points you can put in grappling, rushdown, combos, and what this does is it'll change the way that the AI will react to certain things. So the more points you have in the grappling, it'll do stuff like it'll choose to throw more often, or it'll give it a higher chance to escape from a throw, and it'll also spend stuff, um, spend meter on things um, based on what you've put it on. So if you put stuff on rushdown, it'll spend meter on things that become plus on block, like a Batman Batarang. Gotcha. And if you put points into combos, it'll save its meter to spend meter on combo extenders. So if, if, we're, if we're setting this up like, let's, let, let's set this up like Derek plays, okay? Okay, so it's gonna be rush down. Okay, so like, we'll, and, first of all, we'll take away points and everything. We'll, yeah, yeah, let's get everything, everything down. And also you'll wanna set up these characters to um, basically what tools they have. So you wouldn't want to take Bane and put him as a zoner, right? right? Because but you could if you were if you had a specific crazy strategy, and that's something that players might actually come up with. Right. So there'll actually be ways where you can put maybe giving points into grappling and runaway with Bane might actually work because he's going to stay away from people, and then when they get close, he's going to grab yep. them. So there's a lot of a lot of experiments you're going to do, and it's and you're going to do it based on the the abilities you've equipped, and you're also going to do it based on the opponent's abilities and characters you're using too. Awesome. All right. Let's. So we probably want to do. Uh, how many, you have 60 points to, to use. So probably everything in Rushdown for Derek, right? Um, that's <laughs> sort of how he plays is reckless. Yep. But yeah, I don't yeah, think yeah. that's a category. That's right. But, right. You're going to see uh, that later. So we'll have her with, uh, we gotta, we'll save a couple points for counters here. Counters. I, don't, I, don't, I don't know what that actually is. That'll, um, that'll increase his chance to punish things. So when a computer blocks something, the more points you have in the counters, it'll punish them incorrectly instead of choosing not to do something. I wouldn't do that. Uh, okay, we'll put you on... Uh, combos, combos, combos. I'm really good with combos. Uh, yeah, three seems about right. All right, so who, who are we going to do next? Uh, I'd like to do, of course... Can, can, can I do Bane? Yeah. Okay, Bane. let's do Bane. Oh, the Bane's at the top. There it is. All right, so uh, let's do... Uh, Ooh. That one's cool. That. If you say it's cool, you're not going to get it. Uh, let's do the top one, the far top one. Yeah, I kind of want this sort of military look. Yeah, thank you, thank you, Paulo. Uh, let's do uh, go down one. This is crap. Yeah, that's good. I like that. Thank what? you. Boots. He's got to ask nicely, Barry. Uh, I, I am. Oh, this, I like the. Oh, that's good. The belt. Thank you for that one. Let's take the tank. I'm pretty out. nice. Ooh. Ooh. No, Derek. That's no. Derek wants. That. I don't want that one. Go down one. There. Yeah, that's cool. All right. Now abilities. I would like uh, supercharged. Isn't that borderline cheating? Moving on. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, double punch, old school double punch. Ooh, old school double punch. So you're gonna give up the people's elbow. I am for this, for this one, for this one. All right. All right, and uh, let's go to... Uh, yeah, I didn't get to pick a shader? Ooh, blue. Top blue, middle. Ooh. Bingo. 
But the, the red one looked really cool. Cool, Derek. Yeah, thanks, Derek. Uh, <laughs> okay, so definitely grappling. I yeah. want to work hard on well, grappling. Max out grappling. Max out grappling. And uh, combos for me put to about a one. Yeah. yeah. You that should put sense. nothing. So you want to you want to have your guy sort of mimic your own. Yeah, I want to play yeah. like me. Okay. Uh, counters. I'm okay. I do a lot of throw counters. Put that in the middle. That's Amazing fine. at throw counters. Uh, rush downs to the middle. Okay, we can okay. go to fourteen. We got to take away a point from rush down. So something where you've only got sixty points to spend. So you got to figure out how you're going to divide them up. So there's not really going to be a super optimal thing, and it's more depend on what your opponent's doing and, and what you're going to counter. So let's talk real quickly. Just in the important thing here. What does this do for you? So once you once you have all these characters set up, let me do one more. Do a zoner. Do a zoner. Uh, Ooh, sideboard. No, uh, yeah, that's fine. That's fine. Ooh. Ooh. Ruckus Ooh. Oh. makers. That's a cool <laughs> name. What was what was the other one that we had? The. Uh, never mind. Nice try, Derek. I know. It was, okay. What kind of risk cannon do we want here? Ooh, that's... Oh, so his accessory is actually his wrist camera. Yeah. Cool, cool. Ooh, the air grapple. Oh. And we'll probably be seeing this character soon on a stream. Oh! Oh, what are those? Let's not go there. Yeah. <laughs> Forget about that. I saw nothing! Right. All right, so Cyborg probably want to do... Lots of give him a little bit different place down here. Mm -hmm. So let's give him a Man. decent amount of uh, chucking those fireballs, and then we'll give him a little bit of runaway. A, a one. A one. No. Now take those combos down. Please. Yeah, he he's very pushy. Yeah. That's why he didn't get you wanted. Oh. Right, so now we now we've set up three characters, and it's something where you're going to want to set up. The whole cast, if you want, for right. for all your characters, and it's something to play around with. Even characters that you don't necessarily want to play yourself, you're gonna want to give them uh, AI personalities, and then and then uh, use the gear you get while you're playing any characters. You can get gear for other characters, so now you can uh, use them in your AI loadouts. So what? No, so why are we doing this? Like, why, why play AI fighting? It's mainly it's another avenue for you to level up chests or to get chests, and it's also a good way for you to level up characters. They don't necessarily. Um, are really good at, or you just uh, you just want to like optimize your time spent right. playing the game. So if I wasn't a really a, a big blue beetle player, right, and I haven't leveled him up, I could put him in to the AI battle simulator and just send him off, and he'll just level up, get new gear, get gear for other characters too for me, yeah. right? Yeah. Oh, cheetah, 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 cheetah. I already have her picked for us. Oh, we want to do it for defense too. Oh, oh you're what we're doing. That's what we're doing. Yeah, My we're, bad. we're gonna we're gonna set up any team. That way, if um, if somebody else in the building wants to try to challenge our team, gotcha. They can. They're just there. showing them to hit. That here's how you set up your defending team. And then these this is a team that other players are gonna are gonna come up with when they uh, go fight against other people's AI battle teams. Cool. Uh, All right, Bane. So we got Bane, we got Cyborg. Where's the other one? You need Bane. He's far right. There you go. There Bane. Go. So once this is done, now this is your defending team, and that's a team that. When other players go and they click fight, this will present you a list of, of random opponents it'll find based on an average skill of how you've been playing this mode. Um, Ooh, who are we gonna fight? Well, since our character is a level twenty, we're gonna go pick on a, a, a low. Absolutely. Let's not do that one. Let's do the one right below it. Let's do uh, Firestorm, Batman, and Black Adam. Is that fine? Yeah. Let's do that one. Yeah, because they're all level ones. Yeah, I want to really pick on them. That's messed. Uh, so here we'll go. Uh, we'll go use our Bane. We'll do, uh, we'll do Cyborg in a second, so that way we'll, we won't get seen there. Cheetah. Come on. Cheetah. Thanks, guys. <laughs> you guys so, are the best. You really are. Thank you. Huh. So it, it loads up a fight like normal, but um, they're a little bit different where the fights are only one round because there's going to be three, uh, three fights in a row. And it's essentially, it's the um, best of the three, and then once your guy wins, it's for that match. So if Bane wins, my Bane is one, and then my ne next match is fought by your second opponent. So here our Bane is just simply beating up on a little Batman. <laughs> I mean, it is kind of fun. Just, right. yeah. And there's a lot of people as well that love to watch our game. Yeah. Like they say, man, I wish I could just sit and watch the game. Truthfully, this is a good place to like learn combos, maybe. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, and you know, this is a great place where you your button inputs may not be the best, right. but you can create an amazing AI team right. and just go send them out and find other people to pick on. Yeah. And obviously we picked an unfair fight. Yeah, and it's something where um, um, 
once there's a ton of people putting their teams out there, it's going to start returning you uh, a list of uh, fights that are more geared towards your current right. level. Mm -hmm. so, you're, so essentially now we've got a, uh, a, set, a set list of players there to pick from. But it's going to be uh, a lot more to your level once you're actually right. playing. Because right now we only have some QA people yeah. who yeah. are in builds on this. Yeah. Come Here. on, Firestorm. Here's our cyborg. Come on, Firestorm. Oh, no. Oh, man. Sweet oh. combo. Firestorm! There he's zoning. There he goes. Zoning. There he goes. Yeah, so the, here you see the zoning pro taking place where a lot of times the computer where it would choose to normally come in and do stuff, he's because he has a bullet point to zoning, he's choosing to shoot projectiles. And their Firestorm may have chosen zoning too, so he's never gonna rush him down at an higher level on this level, so there we have a thing. Yeah. You can also fast forward if you want to go quickly yeah. too, which is awesome. Well cool. So that is AI Fighter, yeah? Yeah. And then um, you also have the option, to, so here because we won a fight, we get a gold mother box. Right. And our characters that actually participated in that fight got some experience and that was a way to level them up. Right. You can also spar with your friends and then there's obviously the leaderboards where if somebody just wants to sit there and uh, grind out and find the maximum use of like their gear and uh, just find ways to just uh, set up the characters in a way where it'll beat others, you have a sort of like offline competitive mode where you can play against other people. Right. That's, that's, like I said, one of my favorite new modes. It's really awesome. Um, I'm going to outfit all of my characters. I mean, obviously I play a lot of characters because I'm a, I don't ever pick a main. You are a specialist so, at yeah, not and there, being one no. character. And uh, there are some other ways to use your um, AI <laughs> opponents. Like if you're in a private match playing online against your buddy, you can sort of, you can use your AI opponents and that'll let you sort of like min-max your actual point distributions and stuff. Cool. So you can actually use your AI character in multiple different ways in different modes. Yep. Awesome. Awesome. Uh, here's something we haven't talked about yet. Yep. Uh, we have a tournament mode. Woo! Yeah, so essentially what this is for, it's meant to be used in offline gatherings. So it's something that's not really for like, if you're just sitting by playing yourself, or even if you're just with another friend, it's something where, hey, if you have eight guys that want to sit at a local and that they want to play competitive mode without having to go through a lot of the hassles of going through play select and setting up competitive mode and that sort of stuff. Tournament mode is something where it already has settings built in for a offline tournament setting. So let's say you're Rick from Combo Breaker. Yeah. This and, is you're, and you're doing a tournament soon. Yeah. This mm -hmm. will be the mode that people will be playing in those offline tournaments. Right. Can you tell me some of the, uh, give me some of the, the options that are involved in tournament mode? Yeah. We can go actually go to them real quick. Cool. And, you know, we, we obviously follow the tournament scene very closely. Yep. So, I mean... Yeah, and this is something where uh, it'll be a expanding feature where some, some things where if there's other settings on here that, that we, we end up seeing that people need to help you run these tournaments better, there'll be stuff that we, that we plan on updating and change or even tweaking. Right. Oh, so you can randomize character gear. Yeah, so something where um, you can have it where, because people aren't going to be using their own characters in tournaments and, and, and they're essentially, when you're playing in tournament mode, there's no like profiles loaded. So there is no like gear being rewarded, there's no leveling up. It's a streamlined like just... Uh, essentially like anonymous players playing on, against each other. Right. Um, and you can set stuff like the the round time that will be used. You can turn some things on and off, like super move damage boosts, first hit bonus. Um, you can turn off interacts and stuff. Um, and another big thing is by default, arena select is turned off. And that'll help get into matches quicker where it'll just automatically give you a random arena. But you have the option, of course, to turn arena select on and that'll let you go to the normal arena select. Right. And when Arena Select is off, there's things like you can go to available arenas and you can actually uh, sort of enable and disable which arenas will come up randomly. And um, that will also help like, to so streamline tournaments. One of my favorite things about tournament mode is when you want to go back to player select, you have to hold down start. Yeah, it has a bunch of like uh, terminate quality of life features automatically enabled, which you don't want to turn on for the rest of the game, but stuff like delayed pause where you, you can get bit by if you accidentally hit the pause button. In tournament mode, delayed pause automatically turned on. Some stuff like the health and the power bars is, is, uh, is automatically enabled in the tournament mode. Just things to that are more geared towards the, the competitive mode of the game, but we don't really uh, want that stuff on for every mode. That That stuff is on. It's very important in tournament because you hit pause by accident, hey, you lost the round. Will it automatically desync people's controllers? Um, <laughs> it won't do that because uh, there's a lot of actual, like, uh, just the consoles themselves, that stuff sure. is built in there. But um, if people want, we could pop, pop up a warning. That'll be something where once <laughs> once people are actually using this a lot, we'll get feedback and we'll actually like, sure. build upon it. Yeah. But please desync your controllers. Yes, please desync your controllers. You're ruining the tournaments. <laughs> uh, cool. Well, yeah, so as you see here, when you're in turn mode, there all you can do is uh, configure your controls, and you don't have the option to load up loadouts or anything like that. So if, if people want, they can go in here, set the controls real quick, get into a match, get out. It should help streamline the process. Yeah. Awesome. Make things a little bit faster. There's not a lot of waiting around. Yeah. Like 
That's awesome. Well, that is that with tournament mode. A lot of really good stuff. And we are we are an hour in, and we're not done yet. No, sir. We got more to do. You're on camera when huh? that happens. Yeah. yeah like Whatever. It. I do what I want. Okay. So we're gonna bring Steve right back in. Cool. Thank you so much, Paul. You'll be back again, I'm sure, here in the next yeah. uh, couple streams to talk about some more stuff. But while we get Steve in here, we're gonna show you a trailer, Mr. Yes. Matt Burke. From the fiery depths of Apocalypse. Noted for classification. Here we go. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to show you more in depth Dark Side, the yes. pre order bonus for Injustice 2. Steve. Hello. Welcome. Steve Brabeck, everybody. For hey, you're here, here, but here you 16 are. 16 yeah. bit. 16 bit, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to show you Dark Side. Let's talk about Dark Side's playstyle real quick. Um, if you want a character that's all about finesse and complicated setups, don't play Dark Side. Right. But if you want an absolute powerful brute, who just overwhelms opponents, play Dark Side. Absolutely. He is basically the feel of a boss character, but balanced to be a player character. Well, did you want to bring me another character? Oh, I'm good right now. Okay. All right, so let's talk about what he does. Yeah, he, um, he's the master of the Omega Beans, which are extremely powerful eye lasers. I've heard that about him, actually. And they never miss. They can zigzag around, and they'll catch the opponent. And you can do it, obviously, in the air, right. around. Um, anywhere, anywhere else? Uh, you can do it a lot of places. You can do it up, up like you can that. do up. You can do it down. You can do down. You can do so straight. You can do straight. He has a lot of different options for his island. And they are high damaging. They have very fast recovery. They take up the whole screen, <laughs> and they're very, very, very fast. Now they are high. The straight one. Right. So the opponent can duck it, but they don't have a lot of time to advance, even when they duck it. They are very, very good. Uh, projectile moves. Now when it's meter burned, you can actually control them. You can direct. Where you can direct them. So you could do the straight one and hold down, and it'll aim down. Yep. Oh, my bad. My bad. Um, there we go. Sorry. But, all right. All right. So. Or you can do the anti awesome. air. Anti do the anti air one. Oh. And you can aim down if you do the ex one. There you go. So you're almost kind of like drawing that out. Right? You are. Yeah. Well, that's really cool. Um, all right, so he's got the Omega Beams, but what else does he have? Well, he also has his Palm Strike, which okay. is a great combo ender. And he can meter burn that for additional damage. And that's kind of one and of the main moves you can use to push the opponent away or to end your juggle combos. A lot of his stuff, when meter burn, pushes him away right, to which get back is into his game. Exactly where he wants to be. He also has his Knee Bash, which is another good combo ender. And this is one of his good wake up attacks. It's invincible. Say, yeah, Tyler uses it a lot. A lot. On wake up. Yeah. And so the meter like... burn version makes him safe, so he can use that as a safe wake up attack. And kicks him away. Yeah. And yeah. then yeah. it kicks him away, and then he goes back to shooting Omega Beans. I do. I always do. Um, and then he's got the stomp, right? Yes. So then he has, he has some mobility options. He has a teleport, and he will teleport next to the opponent. Down back three. 
Yeah, there I forgot it was. And I he can do that on the ground or on the air. Now, the really cool thing about the air teleport is he can actually attack right out of it. As he's landing, he can go in any of his jump attacks. So it's a very good strategy. If the opponent is ducking or trying to jump in Ooh. and they're trying to get past the beams, he could all of a sudden get right next to them and then start attacking. He could teleport and throw or teleport and sweep. Great throw. And then he has his air stomp, which is actually a jumping low special move. So even though it's an air attack, it's not an overhead. It's a low. They have to block low. And he can, again, do it straight out of his teleport. So you have a ready-made mix-up of teleport into a jump attack or teleport into the air stomp. And that's while the opponent is trying to deal with the Omega Beam. Seems a little dirty. Seems it, a little it's, dirty. It's a, it's a very simple, straightforward tactic that's always going to be effective. Right. Tyler, you picked up Dark Side. I have. I really like Dark Side. There's, he has a couple of really, uh, we, have we done his specials? I think those, oh, his uh, character power. Oh, yeah. Right. Now his character power is he summons Parademons. And he has two, three different Parademons he can summon. He can summon Explodey Guy, and he'll sit there and chill out, and then when Dark Side's ready, you do the character power bu button again, and he'll explode. Yep. And that pops up, and you can do a beam or a combo. Explodey Guy. Explodey Guy. Yeah. And it has a really cool function where if Explodey Guy's out, if you were throw, go up, throw. Explodey Guy explodes and Dark Side can get a combo. He can get a free back three. Mm. So all of us, you know, throws are normally low damaging options to open up the opponent. No one really gets killed by only throws. But when Explodey Guy's out, his throw <laughs> becomes a combo starter. Well, for some people. Yeah. He, yeah, <laughs> he also has, uh, He's got just, the air one? just character, by itself, character by itself is a flying parademon. And from here he has a couple options. He can shoulder ram you and he can spit a fireball. And now Darkseid is free to move around while his parademons are out. So the idea would be you put out the parademon and then you can shoot your beams or you can teleport in and any time you can release the fireball. Right. Um, but if Darkseid's hit... The parademons will unfortunately get they will get demoralized and they'll leave their master. Back to Apocalypse. Yes, back to they go back to a boom tube, back to Apocalypse. Right, absolutely. And then finally, back in character power is Charging Guy and he'll actually go into a little boom tube and come out. As an overhead. And that's an instant overhead. Is that the sound he makes? That is the sound he makes. Absolutely great. Mr. the dark side. Oh, all right, all right, all right. Here goes right. Steve again. Okay. And with we were his, worried about Chevy. You're right, with his impressions. <laughs> all right. Um, so, super move? Oh, this is a great one. So, let's just miss it first. I didn't uh, miss it. No, you, that's new for you. <laughs> So one of the fun things about the trailer was the super move, and there was a lot of speculation on the internet about how it works. How does the actual beam works? And the trick is, you control it. Yep. As soon as you do it, Tyler actually gets to control the yeah, beam. Yeah, try and draw something fun this time. I can draw. Okay, we'll do. Okay. You're not, let me try it, let me try it. Oh, so fine. you can go up, you can go down, you can go back, you can completely circle around. As long as it's active, you have free control to move it. So there is no escape. It's the ultimate zoning tool. Yeah, no, that's pretty cool. There you go. What? There you go. That yeah. was crazy. But I missed. Yeah, but so, right. so yeah, you can do crazy stuff with it. It's really cool. Yeah. He also has a, really, a lot of really cool strings. He's, that are he does, him. and his strings use the Omega Beams, even his normal attacks. So you can kind of show some. My favorite is, obviously, I like doing the... Uh, the overhead slap. This one here. Omega Beams, right? He can also do things like this, things like that. He wouldn't be the master of Omega Beams if he didn't right, use them. So a lot right. of his playstyle has Omega Beams. So I would say the key ones are uh, back light attack is a very quick overhead. He does not have a low launcher, but he does have uh, some pretty decent lows to complement it, like his low laser or his sweep. He also has forward two, three, which is a forward advancing mid attack that leads to a combo. You did that. That was great. Ooh. And then he has your, your typical jabs, like 1-1-2, one, one, which ends in a power blast. Or 1-2, one, 1 plus 3, which ends in a throw. I really like it. You can switch stances, yeah. switch positions right. with that, yeah. His basic attacks are, they're pretty much just brute power into the Omega Beams. He's, he's not really uh, an up-close and personal uh, brawler. Right. He, he is meant to be played from a distance. And when he gets in, he does a lot of damage, and he pushes you out, and he goes back to playing his Omega Beams. One thing I really like, too, is his back, uh, this one here, the overhead. This, as you've seen, can be meter burned at this point. And, and then that's your main combo. Into a combo, yeah. Right. So that's really cool. Yeah. So that's I really like that one. So that's kind of the basic 
dark side. Yeah, yeah. Dark, you just hopefully see dark side a little bit later too. So. Oh. Yeah, and, and I know you've Spoiler had a alerts. lot of fun playing. He's. You feel powerful playing Dark Side. You really do. And it's yeah. funny, every game, I, I, there's always these characters I don't think will be my favorite characters. And then I started playing Dark Side, I'm like, yep. Yeah. That's my guy. All right, let's go real quickly. Uh, you want to go through some of his, uh, All right. his other, we made some other loadouts for him. Ooh, I can't wait to Just see his gear. One of that. I always do that. He but, always does that. But we're going to see the other one now. Well, that's what he does. That's fine. Okay. That's what he does. Can't keep him down. Thank All right, so the first one we gave is Hate Slam, which normally you have two, two, one plus three. And this is mostly a combo ender. You do, but you can actually meter burn it to do even more, even more damage. damage. You, you can start combos with it, or like I said, you can extend your combos with it. So it basically just turns one of his better combos into an even better combo starter. Look at that gear too. It's all gold and mm, regal. Really cool. It's really neat. And then we gave him. Instead of his anti-air beam, he gets reverse beams. He will actually turn around and hit you from behind. So do you think it goes all the way around the earth and then comes back? And that's what I, think. Yeah. I feel like it goes through a boom tube directly off screen through another boom tube on the other side. But I feel like we would hear the boom tube. Well, I mean, he may have silent stealth boom tubes, bro. There's no silent boom tubes. You're being ridiculous. Because it's got <laughs> boom in its name. Yeah, it's yeah. got to be loud. He's accurate. He's accurate. All right. No, no, okay. He's, it's that Steve's lore minute. So yeah. if you're playing a matchup where you're really controlling the ground and you don't need to worry about the air and you feel you don't need the anti-air one and you want even more ground control, boom, here you go. Two. All right. Thanks, can that, Derek. Can that knock into a combo? It can't. Look at that. What? Yep. That's pretty sneaky, sneaky. All right, so that's one loadout. And then we went for a high mobility loadout. This would be a loadout if you really want to play keep away and you don't want to be up close at all. So this gives you a way teleport. Normally his teleport instantly puts you right next to the opponent. But in this loadout, we gave him the ability to teleport away. To dip out, because that's yeah. where he wants to be. Because that's where he wants to be. We're, we're showing them some secret looks at Green Arrow's costumes for later. That's true. Steve you just noticed that? Steve don't care. And you can do this in the air. <laughs> All right. And just like normally, he can attack out of it. So this will keep the opponent guessing. They don't know if you're going to teleport in. And they don't know if you're going to teleport back if so you use the back If teleport. you like mobility, <laughs> yeah. you can actually make Dark, dark Side even, even more mobile. Even more mobile. A character who's normally the teleport is his real big mobility option, you can really make him a high mobility character. Awesome. That's awesome. So that's our quick look at Dark Side. That's our quick look at Dark Side. Let's uh, switch characters and just do uh, go back to Arrow. And we kind of already shown some of the cool outfits. Stuff. Yeah, kind of ruined that. Do you want to control them? No, you got it. All right. So Green Arrow in the original was kind of the annoying Nat type character. Like he played a lot of keep out. He that's really mean to say. Well, he's very irritating to fight. He was a great <laughs> hit and run character, but. I think one of his major issues is he didn't really do a lot of damage. So that's something we look to change in this game. So for example, his hurricane bow is back, but now it has a meter burn. And it'll actually knock the opponent up. And he gets a combo. And so he's got more combo potential now, right. does more damage, right? Yeah, he, he does used more. to have to work a, a lot harder. A lot harder to get his damage. And he still retains some of his best keep out moves. He still has the savage blast. His arrows are still very, very quick. And you can actually... Oh, we'll wait till we get to that, right? Right. right. Okay, sorry. The other new thing... things like Steve did. Mm. The other new thing you'll notice is he no longer has the blade on his bow, so mm. some of his normal attacks have changed. His 1-1-1 has a new animation, new properties, and the big one is his back two. His back two used to be a really short range overhead, and now it's this longer range mid, and it has three hits. Awesome. Now, I would say that there will be people who said, like, in the last one, like the, the shock arrows, yes, maybe weren't as strong as it could have been, right? So now they actually have some new properties that help again get more damage out of the table. Right. Wait, that's the ice one, buddy. Like you can actually combo off them much easier. That's the two-two-three combo, two-two-three character power, and you get that. Game. See? Yeah. Wow. And he still has too. the fire arrows, which are very very fast. <laughs> And he still has the ice arrow. Now, the other thing about his character power is when you held the arrow in the original, it was kind of limited about what you could do. So there's a couple new things. Number one, you can dash forward go. and back. So while he's holding it, he has free mobility. He can he can jump, he can do it down, he can duck, and now he can dash. And he can also put the arrow away. Oh. So let's say you have an ice arrow out. 
and you're holding it, you're thinking about using it, you decide not to. You can actually put it away and you'll see in the UI, it's still available. And the next time you use an arrow, it will be the ice arrow. Uh, how, how'd you put it away? You hit the flip stance button. Oh! oh. Boy, left trigger. And he can, he can do this with any of his arrows and then they'll be ready for any time he wants to use them. So you could even shoot two fire arrows and then put away and you still have your one. Cool. And then he also has a new arrow type, which is the meter bird arrow, and it's, I'm so happy for this, boxing glove arrow. Boom. <laughs> this Ew. makes me infinite happy. Infinite happy. And boxing glove, gl boxing glove arrow is basically the best arrow. It does a ton of damage. It's super fast. And it it's knocks a, them back. It knocks far. them far back. It's advantage on block. It's it's basically for a bar meter, you you get the the best arrow you could possibly get. What's better than this? Nothing. Uh, nothing. Can you put it? Can you put it? And away, you though? can put it away. You can put it away. So you can just have that thing on deck, though. And you have it on deck, and now you could do a block string into it and be advantage. You could use it to projectile. Maybe maybe you're getting zoned out. No one's gonna win a projectile trade against this. <laughs> Not the boxing. Yeah. Player. Awesome. Really cool. And we also should show his throw, which is great. Aww. And it's super. Nice. Getting a lot of tweets real quick. I'm not tweets. Uh, on Twitch chat, I'm reading. People are wanting to see the DLC characters. Yeah. Well, we don't have them to show. We don't have them to show. No, that's, I mean, like we always do. These characters are not done yet. They think that they're done? No, they're, they're, they are not on disc, and we are finishing this game, and then DLC is being worked on as we speak. Yeah. So we, I will say this, pay attention to our Twitter and such. You will see all the DLC characters on the stream right. when we're able to show them. But they are not done yet. No, let's get the game, let's get the game out the door, and then we'll talk about that. So basically, Green Arrow retains most of what made him a good character in the original, but now he'll have better reward when he actually gets a hit going and even more better mobility options when he has his arrows loaded. And bigger damaging combos. And boxing glove arrow. And, and boxing, boxing glove, glove arrow. arrow. So let's go through some of his abilities. Absolutely. Let's switch them both like you always do. It's his thing. He said it was his thing. <laughs> yeah. All right, so for this loadout, we went with the... Oh, really cool gear. Yeah, I haven't seen that before. Nice. The trucker cap. <laughs> the tact. This is what I would call tactical green arrow when he's on military-esque missions. Mm -hmm. I have lore for every one of my loadouts. Do you have to, you have to say military-esque missions? Can yeah. you say military missions? Well, he's a superhero, not a soldier. Well, so he goes on military-esque I'll, I'll give it to you. I'll give Don't it to you. argue with the lore. No. So this no. ability I have replaces Boxing Glove Arrow with Bola Arrow. And that will tie the opponent up, and then he gets a free combo. What? Can you put yes. that one away? You can put it away. So Wait a minute. Did the ground effects just change? What? That's really Yeah, look cool. at his color. Huh. Huh. Clever. Yeah, that's cool. Hmm. So this gives him even more combo potential. And there's potential with resets. You could do the bola arrow. And then just gain hit advantage to restand them. Saying hit advantage meaning? Meaning how much uh, time green arrow has before the opponent can move. So like when you hit him, he's in what's called hit stun, where you can see dark sides. Ah, he's stumbling back. And Green Arrow can move before. Great reaction. Can, can we get onto the? Can we get on camera real quick, Matt uh, Burke, so he can see that that dark side impression again? Uh, uh, that is hit stun. Yeah, that's it. That's, that's that how is, we explain it. That's how that's hit stun. Nice. Um, were there any uh, other returning moves that you wanted to talk about? Because I think you only hit like the bola spin, and um, he has his anti air arrow. Blast, right, he's got that. He has stingers back, and you can still meter burn it. Mm -hmm. It's a great wake up attack. Good low overhead. Yeah, it's a good low overhead. It leaves him advantageous oh. when it's blocked. Okay. Cool. And, and this, the, the arrow here you're using takes up two slots, right? Correct. Because this one is so powerful and has so much potential, it takes up two slots. So you're giving up your boxing glove arrow and you're giving up a chance at another ability for a really, really, really powerful ability. Yeah, that's pretty awesome. Yeah. yeah. So All then right. let's look at another loadout. Roll out three. And for this one, I went with kind of a high mobility arrow loadout. So one is space control. He has Skybolt, 
where he actually shoots a bolt up into the air that he can control, and it'll come down later, and it'll explode. And you can also do a meter burn one, and he throws up three at once. Wow, that's really cool. So let's say you're full screen, and... And you have the boxing glove out. You can then do the sky alert. It'll follow where the opponent is, and then you can do oh, an ice here. Oh, that's really cool. And then you can just drop it. And then you can sit there while Darkseid's frozen, taunting him, Slide and then under later him. slide under him. Just to let him know you could hit him if you wanted to, He's but you savage. don't feel like it. All right. And then we gave him Smoke Arrow, which is actually a teleport. What? And he'll instantly teleport to what the opponent is, and he can attack out of it. Nice. That seems pretty awesome. It's pretty powerful. So if you're having trouble getting in, and you're just not doing enough damage with your arrows, at any time you can come in, start your mix-ups, your opponent's got to respect it. All right. And that lets you start doing your Skyler. So these two are both one-slot moves that complement each other. And there's many, many other type of loadouts, depending on how you like to play the game. All right. Awesome. Let's move really on. Really cool our... outfit again, by the way. Yeah, I know. It's really good, right? Yeah. Let's move on. Who do you want to move on to? Green Lantern. Hal Jordan? Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes, that one. What are we supposed to get really... Yes, Hal Jordan. Yes. yes. Well, there are many Green Lanterns. There are, there are. Let's do uh, uh, him versus... Uh, Atrocity. Atrocity. Yes, only makes sense. That's Evil. canon. Mm-hmm. Mm. Would you like to tell us another lore minute? Um, Hal Jordan is actually not the original Green Lantern. Alan Scott is. But he was not a member of the Green Lantern Corps. His was made of magic. He built it himself. I mean, this is what we're into, you know. You invited him. Yep. Okay, hey, here we're back. All right, so Green Lantern retains pretty much all the normal attacks and the combos you remember. Like, this is back. Every Green Lantern player just breathed the sigh of relief. That was basically back one, three is back. what everybody used. Yeah, that's, and that's the Green Lantern uh, breakdown. Yep. No, okay. got all, the, all the good combos. What's different is his special move. His special moves are almost entirely new. Lantern's Mind is back, right. and you can still meter burn it to be his main combo starter. You have to have that. And then every other special move is a brand new attack. Cool. So let's go over them. Let's okay. do it. Well, first is throw. Awesome. That's a good one. All right. So let's start with bowled over, which is a spiked bowling ball. It's a low, very fast moving projectile with great recovery. And you can just kind of... Can you meter burn it? You can. Tell me more. And they'll actually be bowled over. Wow. Look at that. Awesome. Then, instead of the Oa's rocket, he has this battery blast, which is super fast moving, high damaging projectile. Can you do it in the air? You can. Look can at this. What? Like and you know the if you meter burn it, it is actually becomes a high damaging, super fast beam that hits full screen instantly. And you can do the meter burn in the air as well. That's awesome. Then he gets this exploding, exploding lantern. I don't remember what it's called. Battery bomb? Battery bomb, where, and you can control this. There's a close, a medium, and a far, and this is a relatively safe, very quick bomb move that's going to leave the opponent guessing. So you don't. Can you meter burn it? You can. What? You can, and if you do, you miss. You just throw you can up actually, up <laughs> with everything, you can get a a lantern's might and get a combo. Wow. So this is a great screen control move that's totally going to regulate space. You can use the fireballs. The opponent. I can't do anything. And then you put up the battery blast. That was a trust just talking to Dexter. Yeah, right, we know, right, we know, right, we right. know what that was. Okay. And then finally, he has Willpower Wall. And this will actually nullify projectiles, and it is an excellent wake up attack. And you can meter burn it, and it pushes the wall over. In that Which is an also a good wake up, too, isn't it? It's an, it is truly a great wake up attack. It's very, very hard to jump over, it's advantageous on block. It's an excellent get off me tool, and it knocks far away. So if the opponent knocks you down, you know, Flash starts his mix-up, you can get off me, and then you go back to your projectiles. So his, his gameplay's changed a little bit. His gameplay's changed a lot. Up close, he still is a great neutral game character. He still controls, like, this mid-range. But now from a distance, he's even better at the keep-away game than he was in the original. Awesome. Now his character power is returning. It's the ring power, and this adds um, a damage buff to all of his attacks, and it actually enhances some of the special moves. Right. For example... His normal fireball, you can see its speed. When he has the character power, character power active, he can make it go faster or slower. Look at that slow one. It's like a little guy. Yeah, and then you can do at any speed you want. So you can do fast or slow. And that works in the air as well. It also makes bold over a combo start. Oh. 
Does, does it, it Does it? It does. Ah! <laughs> You're the professional. There. there. Oh, you went for the Have low some faith. Right. I take so much help. <laughs> Look at that too. willpower I just showed. Not yeah, to get, did. not to screw up on stream. <laughs> <laughs> Too many times. Yes. And it'll add a damage buff to all these moves. You can see it'll change the reactions of these. They wow, fly way that. up, and now it's very easy to combo them. Green Lantern by far one of my favorite characters. He's so good. He's got so many tools. Yeah, oh. he, he's a great all-around character who's really, really good at keeping the opponent out, and he's pretty good when he gets in. Where's he weak, would you say? I would say um, he doesn't have the best overheads. His 4-3 is, is decent, but it's a lot slower than it was in the original. Mm -hmm. I think it's now something that people are going to be able to react to. And I would say if the opponent has even better projectiles than him, like a character like Deadshot or Dr. Fate or Darkseid, then he might be in some trouble trying to get in. But one thing is, in the original, his mobility was very, very weak. It's n it's now pretty decent. His his back dash doesn't cover a lot of space. But his forward dash looks great. But his forward dash is excellent. So if he's having trouble, <laughs> you know, closing the gap because they have even better zoning, he can now actually get in a lot easier than he could in the original. Awesome. So right. do you want to look at some loadouts? Let's do that. Did whoa super move? Oh, I forgot. You're right. And it's a good one. Let's do it. <laughs> Bam. Ooh. I love the giant head bobbing. Mm -hmm. It's so good. Mm -hmm. All right, Steve, what do we got next? All right, loadout time. Loadout time. Getting a lot of people asking why we're not showing a lot of Premiere skins. And that is because a lot of them we'd like you to discover for yourselves. Yeah. I mean, we should keep some stuff secret. Yeah, we've shown a lot of things, and there's some things we want you guys to be surprised by. Like, and we still have more things to show. Yeah, we do. In this uh, loadout, Green Lantern has been corrupted by Rage. He has given he in to his inner fear, and he's become a Red Lantern. Oh. Is that why he's red? That's why he's red. Also, Dexstar bit him in the finger, and he got really mad about it. Mm. So okay. now, he's a Red Lantern. Okay, Steve. And I gave him, and you can actually see it changes all of his effects to be red. And it even changes his UI, his character power. Here. Oh. What? So the first ability I gave him replaces his character power, and instead, he gets this damage nullifier. Once this is active, and it has a cooldown, he'll take significantly less damage. It's like 50% or something. It's wow. very, very significant. So, if you're the type of player and you're like, I don't want to keep people out. That's boring. I want to go YOLO. I'm the YOLO Lantern. That sounds so like me. Exactly. So, if you're Derek and all you do is wake up attacks and jump-ins, yep. you can turn this on and you can go YOLO. And if you get punished for it, you're barely going to take any damage. I'm the YOLO king. Yeah. Cool. So, another thing is, you'll notice, a lot of the good stuff requires meter. Mm-hmm. So he has quick charge, where the lantern will actually appear and it'll start charging, and you can see he's building super meter. Oh. And you can stop this at any time. So if you're playing a match and you're keeping the opponent out, and the opponent's like, well, you know what? I have a projectile reflect or something. I I'm not going to come in. Well, then you're building meter. What now? Yeah. Come get me. Come get him. So, I mean, that's another, maybe another weakness of, of, of Lantern is that a lot of his stuff does require meter. It does. Really do yeah, he to go in full. Right. He either needs his character power or meter. So this is another example of how they complement each other. Since he won't have the Enhanced Lantern's Might if he uses this, he can then use meter for pop-ups by do, using Quick Charge. Can you do a super in the red? Uh, you need more meter, Steve. There's, I, a, there's a way to get some. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh, so even his neck turns red. Yep. That's awesome. Nice. All right. Cool. One more. One more. So, another thing is, maybe you were a big fan of how he played in part one. Maybe you liked his setups. Maybe you liked the downwards fireball. Maybe you liked the machine gun, which kept people out. Mm -hmm. We haven't just got rid of those moves. They're still available as abilities. So you can see the original Oa's rocket is back. Oh, And okay. it has the same properties. It's extremely quick. And you can meter burn it and then go into a combo. And I also gave him the old mini gun. Nice. So, remember this strategy? Yes. It's back. It's back. If you really want to, if you really want to stay away and make sure you never get in again, you got mini gunners back. That's awesome. So if you want to play like he did more in the original Injustice, you can set that up. And of course, you can mix and match. You could have Lantern's Barrier <coughs> mixed with Air Oa's Rocket, or you could have 
regular air battery blast mixed with straight rocket. There's many, many possibilities. And the turbine's in there. There's several other moves that are in. Don't give it all away. Don't give it all away. All right. Well, I think uh, that would be it for the characters we're going to show today. Um, we do have, this, this stream has gone about an hour and a half, so nice right. work on that. Uh, let me take that controller. We do, we have to end the way we always end, and I know the stream's a little long, and we hope that doesn't bother anybody. We want to get as much information I as we can. I can't imagine the fans are bothered. Right. No, no, uh, no. So thanks, first of all, for joining us. We're going to have a, ba a battle between Derek and I real quickly. You want to yep. set us up real quick while yeah, I'm talking? Yeah, I'd love to. Uh, again, let's go over the schedule. So here's a good thing I've told you earlier. Steve, next week, is my co-host, because Derek will be out. I will be out. So you'll be here for Wednesday for the mobile stream. Mm -hmm. And then Friday for uh, gear. The much anticipated gear stream. Much, much maligned gear stream. Two like, months in the making. Well, people keep people keep okay. asking me about it, and I okay. keep on going. Oh, are you in tournament mode? Yes, I nice. Thought well, we should use tournament mode. Awesome. And um, be sure you pre-order Injustice. Yes, please yes. do. The Injustice comic book is out. You can actually buy the first. And one. I read it every week, and it's great. It's really it, yeah, they they do a real kick-ass job on that. Yeah, yeah so. huge shout out. It's it's really fun. So we, I, I love it. Again, so happy to do this. And remember, next Wednesday, next Friday, then next Monday, then the game's out. That's a lot of a, a lot yeah. of watchtowering. Well, we'll see if we can get to them all, and I think we will. So, Derek? Yep. You have the belt? Of course I do. I'm going to play Dark Side. Who are you playing? I got to do Cheetah, man. I'm very excited for this. There has been a lot of chatter. What? It, where does this chatter come chatter. from? Chatter. There's chat. Everyone's talking about it. Everyone is talking about Tyler's like, Dark Side. This is a hunt I've longed for. It will be your demise, Cheetah. The goddess will guide my claws. Begin. Please don't say everyone's talking about my dark everyone's side. Everyone's talking about That makes me want to win too badly. Oh, man. Now, right off the bat, this is a very, very simple match to break down. You have a top, top of the line zoning character against a top of the line rushdown character. So this is a clash of styles. And right now you see Cheetah's in, and she's already done half life, but pushes her away. Here we go. Now Derek is in a lot of trouble. Oh. Cheetah is very good in the air. Oh, that's exactly why. And Cheetah's very good up close. Oh my goodness. Oh, oh anti your knee. Woo. Okay, okay I'm fine. very, very fast, decisive. I actually, I actually come back a lot. Okay, yeah, he does. I have fought this fight a few Explodey times. Explodey guy's out. Explodey guy, stay away. Because Darkseid just does so much damage. He does. Darkseid hits quickly, and he... I did that way too early. Yeah, you shouldn't want to... You didn't want to do that. Did that way too early. See, I, I'm doing it again where I'm nervous in the stream. It's, it's okay. Uh, Steve, is there anything that you wanted to say about uh, tournament mode? That I used all four bars by accident. What? No, you didn't! No. Ah. I am personally super excited for tournament mode. <laughs> it's, it's a great option to make your local tournaments, or even the major tournaments, more streamlined. You don't have to worry about save files. You don't have to worry about, you know, turning on pause delay and all that stuff. It's it's right there for you. It's great, and the randomized gear is awesome. I can't wait for that. Oh, oh. I also love that it even cuts down on stuff because you don't have to go through the stage nice select process. Lock. Thank you. And you won't get the usual shenanigans where someone thinks they're going to get away with it and choose a oh. stage when no one's looking. Oh no. This is, and this Dark Side is, is making a huge comeback. This here. is not good. Nice. Did not transition on purpose to keep cheating in the oh. corner. Very smart play. Unfortunately, Tyler has no meter and Derek has full bar. So her super's on deck, and her super oh. reaches all the way across the screen and is super fast. <laughs> That's You said super like 12 times. It's a super good super. Oh. Come on. Wow, using this teleport to escape her pressure. Oh, jeez. Uh. Oh. Uh. Look at this key oh. Now, I think it's gonna hit. Yes! Oh! And this is gonna even it out. Okay, nice move, nice move. Good comeback, by the way. Now, Thank unfortunately, you. Derek's gonna have no meter. So even Tyler if he clashes, no he's barely gonna get anything back. Oh, he has. He does but have Tyler meter. has meter for Omega Beams, and this is gonna be a chip out situation. <laughs> oh, <laughs> no air stop. Oh, Savage Ambush. Yes! Oh, no, the jumped. pounce. Should have jumped. Woo. Okay. I feel good about that, though. Yeah, yeah. You started off very poorly and then ended up making it right down to the wire. I know what to do. I know what to do. Right. Zone? Are, no. we, are we doing two or three? Uh, just, if you win this, you win. Okay. There's no chance that's going to happen. There's no chance. No, I'm calling right now. One of Cheetah's patented attack grabs. 
Oh, very good trip guard. Oh, that knee gets me every single time. Down two. Tyler gets out of the corner. Oh. Very good use of the teleport. Oh no! We talked about the teleport using it offensively, but you can use it defensively as well. Oh wow, using two bars here. Good. Oh! Good block. No punish. Oh no, I didn't want to nope. do that. Okay, big punish. Well, Not big. Light punish. That's actually unblockable after that. After that mule kick, her grab is unblockable. Ooh. Right. Cheetah pounce. I don't know what Good to aiming do. it. Very good aiming it. I, I thought that was going to whiff, and he aimed it down. Oh. This, this is, is a good. close one, and Brainiac is judging oh, both no, no, of you right no. now. Okay. I'm supposed to cheat a lead. Oh, you went, you, went, you were down there. Okay, it's very, very even. Again, oh. Derek with a huge meter advantage. Oh, come on, man. All right, this is Darkseid's wheelhouse. Unfortunately, Tyler gave up the zoning advantage. Okay, there you go. I would like to see more air stop. Oh, come on, man. Converts it. Back three, good conversion. Oh, this, whoa, this. Unblo very smart to go for unclashable damage. Very clever. Good block. Oh, oh no. good punish. No. Not really good punish, but I hit oh, no. A decent punish. A punish. Oh, no. Go, Cheetah, go! Oh, just barely I'm hit. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I yeah. have no health left. I'm okay with that. Oh. Now, this is where the beams being high is going to come into play, because Derek cannot take any chips, so he's going to have to duck these lasers. If he gets hit one time, it's over. But the knee, oh, I knew it was going to be like the knee. All right, we're going to a final game. All right, this is, okay, Derek, shake on it. This is the last one. We had a long stream today. Whoever you're right, wins, you're right, you're, you're right. It's been exhausting. <sighs> this is exciting. This is a good matchup. This is this reminds me of the Swamp Thing Cheetah matchup. Yeah. Cheetah's so cool. You <laughs> must say she's awesome. They shouldn't rule. Look at her. Prove you are worthy to join my furies. Begin. Okay. Oh no. I don't know if that was fake out or dropped inputs for the beans. Uh. All right, here we go. Oh, stomp. Derek out of position. No. Derek wily, wisely using Cheetah's sweep, which is her best low attack by far. It has a lot of range. It's safe-ish. Good damage, good knockdown. Come on. Pounce, no conversion though. Good down two, good convert. Back three connects. Nice, nice. Oh, no punish though. I don't know the punish for it. No. No punish on Primal Rage there. No. And we are starting out with Derek in the lead, but that's what we've oh, seen no. in the last two games. And it's, no. It's been even down, uh oh. Oh man, paratrooper, or not paratrooper. Paratrooper. <laughs> oh gosh. All right, all right. I'm not playing like I play at the desk. I gotta play like I play at the desk. Matt, what do you gotta say? Relax. 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 Gotcha. You're not relaxing. You're not relaxing. Yeah, I am. Good, good, good block. block. Good block. Throws her into the corner. Now, was it the right decision to throw her in the corner, or should he throw it away in the zone? We'll never know. Uh oh. She's going in. Oh man! No! He has more meter though. If you want to use it yeah, all, this this clash. What would I do in this, Steve? I think you bet everything. I bet nothing. So did I. Wow. What? That made no sense. I know, right? On any level. That's okay. <laughs> she was wild, you know. Wow! Oh, I did a Steve. <laughs> all right, full super from Tyler. Let's see if you can make something happen. No punish though. Oh, overhead hit. Uh -oh. oh, that's a block. No! Good throw. Okay, Tyler's back in this. This is this is winnable. Oh, shit. Okay, now he's gonna start using his meter. I like it. Don't go for the super, go for the mega beams. I I, I applaud oh, this shoot. decision. No shoot. Parademons out. Oh man. No! Oh wow, and things are no! you can you can feel the momentum shift here. Meter no! roll though. Oh, 
It's gonna come down to the last decision. Need to roll. Yes! Oh! Doesn't get any closer than that. That was awesome. Damn it. <laughs> you could feel the panic. Yeah. Am I better at your desk when I play that character? Yeah, absolutely. I don't know what I keep doing that for. I it. don't know. You I'm, suck. I'm absolutely salty. Oh, you usually are. Not not this bad. That felt bad. I wanted. You want to touch it? Yeah. Touch no. It. Okay. Uh, didn't touch it. Okay. Right. Well, guys, that was a great stream. Thank you so much. Congratulations, Derek Kurtzik. Thank you. Uh, we had a great time. We have a lot more to show you guys. I know that this went longer than we usually do. We just had so much to show. We have a lot to show. Uh, game's coming out real soon, guys. We're excited to play it with you. Ten days. Thank you to Matt Burke behind the behind the counter there. Thanks, Burke. Derek Kurtzik. Tyler Lansdowne. Steve Brownbeck. And me. We will see you guys next week. Bye. That was awesome.